Good morning, everybody. Well, this morning I was up super early at 5, like usual. And I had to do the kids' school work for the whole week. Um, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but when we got back from church, Johnny had a surprise for me, so I had to um, be surprised. <laughs> and then um, we spent some time together watching a movie with the kids. Uh, we watched Home Alone, the first one, and I'm hoping Johnny downloads the second one because that's my favorite one. And then we can watch Home Alone 2 together too. That would be great. That one, I'm going to die. I died from the first one last night, but I'm going to die from the second one for sure because that's my favorite one. I like, I really like Marv. He's so Anyway, so I just finished. It took me two hours to do a whole week's worth of school. Um, and then uh, if I have two hours tomorrow morning, I might just get next week's school work done. And so on and so on like that. Because it would be a lot easier to have it like that rather than waiting until Saturday or Sunday and trying to do the whole week's schoolwork when I have like no time. So if I have time tomorrow morning when I wake up at five, if I'm not like super busy doing other things like cleaning or laundry or something, then I will do uh, next week's uh, schoolwork too, just to get it out of the way. My eyelashes and the look States strange. Has a big part in it. Then you say, why would you relate, you know, pornography and prostitution, or why would you relate these two things unto human trafficking? Because of the fact that those who produce pornography, yeah. 8,258 users are watching pornography on the internet. Every second, three thousand and seventy-five dollars and sixty-four cents is being spent on pornography on the internet every second for three grand. This is a major industry. You can see why God would list in all of this merchandise of Babylon having to do with things that we would traditionally think of as merchandise that he would throw in the slaves and the souls of men because it's a major industry. Every second, 372 people are typing the word adult into a search engine. 40 million American people regularly visit porn sites. 35% of all internet downloads are related to pornography. 25% of all search engine queries are related to pornography, or about 68 million search no. queries a day. 34% of internet users, listen to this, 34% of internet users 
have experienced. The porn industry generates $13 billion each year in the United States. And $3 billion of that is internet porn. And of course, the USA is number one in producing and consuming pornography. Now, can anyone dispute that this is a really serious issue based upon these statistics? That this is something that needs to be addressed because it's a major, major problem. Now, let me start out by giving you the serious dangers of pornography. Turn it to Proverbs 27. Here are some serious dangers of pornography. Why you need to understand that you need to stay away from this and not have anything to do with it. Yeah, it's not a big deal. No, no, no. There are some serious dangers with pornography. Let me give you them. Number one, it takes you further than you want to go. And I've often preached this about sin in general, that sin always takes you further than the praises ring and loud the voices sing until we find his name Jesus one more time we are pioneers for Jesus we are looking on to him we believe his word and we trust the Lord with a faith that will not dim and we will tell the world about our Savior his wondrous grace proclaimed so let the praises ring and loud the voices sing until we find his name jesus good all right turn to the pages on on your first sheet what there what's this a honey it doesn't matter just turn to the pages on your first sheet there can you tell us what all of this thing this one did? yes when it's time now turn to the pages on the sheet there it says 76 This is my baby's meal prep. I made him another stroganoff. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. And to go with it, I'm gonna be making fry bread for him so he can take some to work with him for this. Oh, he is such a lucky man. Such a lucky man. Dang, I'm good. Oh yeah, it's nice and thick. Look at that. He liked my stroganoff, so I made it for, for his meal prep. Alright, I'm going to be doing some dishes before I start doing 
uh, fry bread. Uh, I have to also clean off the counters. Then I'm going to be doing some fry bread and um, getting the curry out to warm up. It's going to be fun times. House is going to smell good, that's for sure. Home cooking. All right, I'm going to go now uh, do the dishes and then I'll be back and show you everything afterwards. <laughs> So you guys really like the fry bread? It's the size of your face, baby. People will literally just lie. And you know what? Especially on the internet, people can lie. Because of the fact that I'll make some more tomorrow. I promise. Since y'all really liked it, I'll make some life. more tomorrow. I absolutely love making the, the dough for it. It was a lot of fun. It was super easy. I, I liked it. So my point is that they're putting forth this image of, oh, look how happy... Look, this guy's name is Cat. This guy's name is Guy's Blazer. Hi, Gus. And this is Sesame Pie. Is that a house? The other side, it looks like a purple house. Yeah. Guess what this guy's saying. Guess what this guy's saying. And what's that? It, guess what this guy's saying. Hi, Gus. Guess what this guy's saying. Hi. And this guy's name's Gus. This guy's name's Cat. That's a red house. Mm-hmm. Tell what this is. Gus. Chimney. Chimney? He said.